Hi, David Odell here with Odell Complete Concrete. It's poor day. Two and a half weeks into this job so far, but this is uh, almost our last day other than when we have to come back to strip it. So that's how that felt works. You just, you have to have the two by for the bracing behind it, depending on the direction you're pouring from. That's how that stuff works. If anybody wants to know how to do that. Now here's how you get the board out. You got concrete on both sides. As you pull it up, you're kicking the concrete under it so the felt's not moving. And it stays straight. We had that overhead set at the top of uh, apron approach. And that's how we rotted our sidewalk off, which is at less than 2% cross slope. And now we're just coming off of the wet edge of the area that we rotted off already at the top of a uh, sidewalk. This particular mix, it's basically um, a five sack straight sack, five sack, no additives, like no fly ash, just cement, cement, rock and sand. That's what the cities call for. And if you're doing the uh, curbing gutter in the street, you may get up to a 3250 out there. So typically when I pour these um, on soil preparation in these kind of soil conditions where it's expansive soil, I typically like the dirt um, wet, not dry. Because what happens is when the water does get underneath the um, slab itself, and if you're poured on dry and the water gets in there and that that expansive soil expands it'll push the concrete up above um, whatever you're matching and that's how um, these soils conditions actually work there's a potential new customer there that my son's talking to negotiating a new deal So right now we hit it with the wood bowl float to begin with and then after that sat a little bit then I went over it with the four foot magnesium. Right now we're using a dry line to do the um, joint layout. So we're going to join all this today during the pour. From start to finish this particular job from the placement to when we actually started brooming was three and a half hours. So we initially ran that two and a half inch deep cutter and then we just come, came over it with the three quarter deep half inch radius on every, all the joints. But what I'm going to do on this sidewalk when I go over it um, by hand I'm just going to actually run a quarter inch deep quarter inch edge on those joints. That way uh, when people are walking through here or even uh, roller skating or whatever it might be they're not going to get hung up in some big joints there. And take a header basically so the only joints I'll leave at a three-quarter is actually the approach on those uh, on that expansion felt that's in there they do have a white plastic cap pop on you can put on top of those if you want to caulk it later then you just snap the top off and then you can go ahead and caulk it right now just getting out there with the uh, fiberglass sliders which I prefer over the metal ones because they have a little more grip so you're not sliding like we're on a slope downhill right now so if I had the metal ones I'd probably be uh, sliding downhill these are also a little bit bigger so it actually spreads the weight out a little more so you don't sink and you can get out there a little bit earlier 
So I just took that 2x4 along with me. That was actually the rod board that we used also. And that's what I'm using to uh, put these joints in. Although we already had them wet cut, now this is just going to true it up a little bit. We ended up putting a rebar in the driveway portion. We can't put it in the uh, off-site stuff. They just want concrete, no steel. But if you are going to ever consider bridging something, like maybe you have some bad soil conditions or something, you really can't bridge it unless you have steel in it. We already hit that approach with the broom. And that particular broom is 50% nylon and 50% 50% horsehair. Hi, here we are. This is a uh, three days after the pour. We're back here to clean it up and remove the cones. This is what it kind of cures out like. It's kind of splotchy. It still has a ways to go. It's gonna all. Inevitably, it's going to be about this shade here once it's all completely cured out. Turned out real nice. All the joints are straight. The felt stayed straight. Um, we could wire brush the top of this or scrape this felt off. It'll be uh, nice and black felt, but we won't bother. It'll come off in time anyway. Lined up all the joints with the driveway up here. So this joint right here in the middle of the approach, if this expansion felt wasn't here and it was a monolithic pour, you'd have to continue it all the way up. But since we have this felt, we can shift the joint over, line it up with the driveway. And that's another nice part about having the expansion felt in here. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. So this is uh, three days later right here. Now we're going to strip it, clean it up, move all the boulders back into position. The forms are coming out really easy. That's because I sprayed them with oil. Used motor oil right out of my truck. It happens to be 100% uh, synthetic mobile one. But I cut it. I cut it a little bit with either gas or diesel fuel just so it'll come go through the sprayer a little bit nicer. This approach happens to be um, over 12 inches deep. The standard is six inches. If you watch the, if you watch the first video, you'll get um, a little more info on the depths and the setup. This is part two and the final part. The reason for those boulders, um, apparently uh, people come around this corner at high speeds and sometimes they lose it going around this corner on the hill. And uh, uh, I guess it came up in the driveway a couple times. So these boulders are kind of a preventative. That uh, slope on that approach is about 10%. The sidewalk's uh, less than 2%.
and I checked that and verified everything with my Milwaukee Smart Level digital. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Uh, we'll be rolling some more out probably in a week, but um, I'm going to be taking off to the uh, World of Concrete real shortly. I'm going to probably be there while this is uploaded, actually. Have a good one.